Good evening on this May 1st, 2024. And the theme today is spiritual gifts, or just even gifts, talents, and skills that God has blessed us and given us. And I'm going to read from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 on gifts because I've done many videos, or I won't say many, but I've done other videos on the theme of gifts like 1 Corinthians 12. And I'll share all these links below. And today is still the celebration of counting the Omer on this May 1st. And these are the many other days going on. May Day. And um, Lord, we pray for all the farmers who are planting right now. We pray that you bless all the farmers. May their trust and depend on you grow. And that they'll know that you are the provider. Weather and rain and all that. Lord, we thank you God for the rain we've been having here too. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, I want to. I don't want. I don't want to spend too much time on the other national or these other national days because the the theme on reason why I'm chosen gifts is because I just watched the movie Unsung Hero uh, by the Smallbone family, King and Country, and Rebecca St. James. If you know those two singers, talented musicians, and I'm currently watching this video before I started recording this. Uh, this is. Luke Smallbone, and I just found out he was in the movie. I watched the movie last night, and he played stripper or striper, <laughs> striper. <laughs> Anyways, uh, did not know that, so that's what's cool about watching these YouTube videos. Um, his brother was in it as a main actor. So, anyways, uh, and I just wanted to share these other notes. I'll be sharing these links below. I. When I got home, I started listening to Rebecca St. James again. I, I grew up watching her. When I say grew up, when I first became a Christian like as a college student, I started listening to Christian music, and as a young Christian, I started listening to her music. And, of course, Foreign King and Country. I've yet to go to their concert. Someday I hope to see them. I was There were a couple times they came to Minnesota and just didn't work out. I was hoping to see them at the Target Center, but it was, it was wintry and... Then they also came for Joyful Noise, and that didn't work out. So I'm praying for someday to see them. Their concerts are awesome. Well, based on the videos, and got to check out. All right, Good News Movies, Unsung Hero. All right, let's read Ephesians chapter 2. And the reason why I chose Spiritual Gifts is because I don't want to give too much of the movie, but I'm going to do the, the ending. If you watch at the end of the movie, they talk about um, the... Uh, the movie was, or like, the brothers and sisters, they have, they do many, uh, they have different jobs and occupations, like one of them was a film, uh, video person, and then of course Rebecca St. James, the singer, and Joel, and um, Luke, uh, as for King and Country, and other brothers and sisters, I think the baby of the family in the movie She's like a actress, I think, or artist. Um, anyways, they're all artists, but they have different gifts. And I just feel like, as a body of Christ, we all have different spiritual gifts. And even though you're not in the limelight, like a pastor or a evangelist, we all have different parts, and each gifts uh, contribute to the body. And that's with not just a family or a church of Christ, but just even workplace. Uh, I work with Development Disabled Adults, and we all have different gifts, and we all contribute, and we need each other. So don't ever feel like you're not, you don't, f you don't have anything or nothing to offer, because we all have different gifts. And just ask God, Lord, show me what is my gift, like the purpose of your life. We all have a purpose and plan. All right, Ephesians chapter two, destined for wrath, saved by grace. <laughs> You were dead in your trespasses and sins. At that time, you walked in the way of the world, in conformity to the ruler of the domain of the air, the ruler of the spirit who is now operating in the sons of disobedience. We too all lived among them in the cravings of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and the mind. 
By nature we were children of wrath, just like the others. But God was rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. Even when we were dead in our trespasses, we made, he made us alive together with Messiah. By grace you have been saved. And he raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Messiah Yeshua to show in the Allah ha -ba, the measureless richness of his grace and kindness toward us in Messiah Yeshua. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. There we go, the theme, gift of God. It is not based on deeds so that no one may boast, for we are his workmanship, created in Messiah Yeshua for good deeds, which God prepared beforehand so we might walk in them. And the last section theme is Jew and Gentile, one and Messiah. Verse 11, Therefore, keep in mind that you once, well, that once you, Gentiles in the flesh, were called uncircumcision by those called circumcision, which is performed on flesh by hand. At that time you were separate from Messiah, excluded from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers for the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the, in the world. But now in Messiah, Yeshua, who once were far off, have been brought near by the blood of the Messiah. For he is our Shalom, the one who made the two into one and broke down the middle wall of separation. Within his flesh he made powerless the hostility, the Allah code of mitzvah, containing regulations. He did this in order to create with himself one new man from the two groups, making shalom, and to reconcile both to God and one body from, through the cross, by which he put the hostility to death. And he came and proclaimed shalom to you who were far away, and shalom to those who were near. For through him we both have access to the Father by the name, same Rouse, Holy Spirit. So when you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but you are fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household, you have been built on the foundation made up on the emissaries and prophets, with Messiah Yeshua himself being the cornerstone. In him the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple for the Lord. In him you also are being built together into God's dwelling place in the Rosh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 2 in the New Testament book of Epistles. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless. Hallelujah.